In this video, we're going to talk about confounding, and in particular, if we think that the race variable is confounding the relationship between smoking and low birth weight. So we've already talked about this conceptually previously, and we noted that it was reasonable to consider that race might be confounding the relationship between smoking and low. We thought that the diagram for a confounder made sense conceptually. So now we're going to go ahead and check numerically if it's behaving like a confounder. So the first thing we can check is if the race variable and smoking variable are associated, or more generically, if x2 and x1 are associated. These are both categorical variables, so we can make a mosaic plot to visually examine that. So let's go ahead and do that here. Looking at the plot, we can see there's quite a strong association. We can see for race category 0, which was white, it looks like almost 50% are smokers, right, a value of 1. For race category 1, which is black, it looks like roughly a third are smokers. And for race category 2, the other, it looks like about a fifth are smokers. Okay, so there's a very strong association. So in terms of confounding, this is enough for us. We don't need to do any more of the stuff that's going to follow. But I'm going to show you a few other things just for the sake of discussion and learning how to explore data a bit. So there are other options of plots we can make. I have the code here. You can make some of them if you want. We can just make a stack bar chart or side-by-side -side bar charts. So that's the code to do that there. Go through and try that out if you want. We can also go ahead and calculate the proportion of smokers for each of the race categories. So we said visually, it looks like for white, it's about 50% smokers. In order to get the proportions, there's a few ways you can do that. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to create a table of smoking only for race zero. So that's going to return to me, as you'll see here, the number of smokers, 52, and non-smokers, 44, in the white race category. And then what I'm going to do is take that table and I'm going to divide it by the length of smoking for race zero. So in other words, the number of people who are in race category zero or white. So dividing it by 96. So doing all that here, we can see in the white race category, 54.1% are smokers. Now I'm going to do the same here, but for race category one or black, we can see there 38.4% are smokers. And then doing it for race category other, 17.9% are smokers. Okay, so we can see this is quite a strong association between the two variables. Those who are in the white category are much more likely to smoke than black or other. And again, just a way you can get this done all at once is by making use of an apply function, which we have had some videos on how to do that, but we're not talking about it explicitly much in this course. But let's take a look at doing that. And that's just going to get all done for you at once. Now, we can also do a statistical test. Right? Race and smoking are both categorical variables. So we can do the chi-square test to test if there's a statistically significant association between the two. So let's look at that here. We can see it's a highly significant association. And I just want to point out, looking at the proportions or the plots are better ways of checking the association. Right? For a confounder, the association doesn't need to be statistically significant in order to adjust for it. Or we've also seen sometimes there might be a statistically significant association that isn't scientifically or clinically meaningful. Now just one final way we can get at checking this, we can build a model that looks at can we use race to predict whether or not they smoke. Right? If race can predict if they smoke or not, that tells us there's an association. So here I'm going to fit a logistic model to do that. So we can see that race at least seems to be somewhat a significant predictor of smoking. And recall if we exponentiate these, it's going to give us odds ratios. So exponentiating that first coefficient is going to give us the odds of smoking for race category black versus white. So let's look at that. It's roughly 0.50. So a black individual is about half the odds of smoking as a white individual. If we exponentiate the coefficient for the other category, that's going to give us odds ratio of smoking for other versus white. That comes out to 0.18. Someone categorized as other is 0.18 times as likely to smoke than a white person. Okay, or 82% lower odds of smoking. Now an important note, you don't need to do all of these to examine the relationship between smoking and race. Part of my intention here was just to remind you of a bunch of different ways we can explore that association. This first mosaic plot we looked at, that was enough to go with. We could see there clearly was an association and we didn't really need to do all these other tests or plots, but they were there just to remind you of different ways to go about checking this. Now we also want to check if race and the outcome, low birth weight, are associated. So is x2 and y associated? Again, we can check that using a mosaic plot since they're both categorical variables. 
Let's take a look at that here. Okay, and again, we can see there is an association. Here's race category zero or white. It looks like about a quarter of them are low birth weight. Here's race category one or black. It looks like about 40% or so are low birth weight. Race category two or other, looks like about a third. Okay, so again, that's enough to see the association. I won't go through and carry out these other ones. I'll just scroll through and mention them, but they're the same approaches um, we looked at previously. We can also make side-by-side -side bar plots. We can calculate the proportion of low birth weight for each of the race categories. Maybe I'll punch those in quickly. So we can see for white, about 24% were low birth weight. For black, 42% were low birth weight. And for other, 37% were low birth weight. We could also carry out a chi-squared test to test if there's a statistically significant association. Or we could fit a logistic model seeing if we can use race to predict if they're low birth weight or not. And finally, we can take a look at what happens when we adjust for race. So first, I'm going to fit an unadjusted model. Here I'm going to fit a model that uses only smoke to try and predict if a baby's low birth weight or not. I'll call that model 1. We can take a look at a summary of the model. And we can see here, here's the unadjusted smoking coefficient of 0 0.70 and its standard error of about 0.32. And just a reminder, you can also ask for the coefficients directly this way. And if we exponentiate the coefficient, it's going to give us the odds ratio. So the unadjusted odds ratio for smoking is 2.02. The smoker has about double the odds of a low birth weight baby than a non-smoker. Now let's take a look at what happens when we adjust for race. I'm going to fit a model 2 where I include smoking and race. Let's take a look at a summary of that model. Now we can see the smoking coefficient went from about 0.70 unadjusted to 1.11 when we adjust for smoking. So quite a large change. There's no magic rule for how much change we should see. It's a bit subjective, but I'd say this is subjectively a big change from 0.70 to 1.11. We also see the standard error has not inflated drastically. It has increased a bit, and that's because there was quite a strong association between smoking and race category. But if we want to think about collinearity, we can think conceptually, knowing someone's race, is that almost the same thing as knowing whether or not they smoke? Definitely not. We saw that whites were much more likely to smoke than the other race categories, but they weren't um, containing almost the same information. Knowing if someone was white isn't the same as knowing they smoke. And let's just take a look at if we exponentiate the coefficient to get the adjusted odds ratio. We can see here for smoking, the adjusted odds ratio is 3.05. So someone who smokes has three times the odds of a low birth weight baby than someone who doesn't smoke, adjusting for race category. Okay, so again, numerically, this is meeting all the criteria of being a confounder, and conceptually, we said that race made sense conceptually as a confounder.